Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the uh, wives of uh, the late Poko Inange, my namesake and friend, family, our bishop and the clergy, speaker, governor, majority leader, members of parliament, friends, fellow mourners, God is good. And all the time, uh, Jeff, I will honor what you said. Though they say that you do not bury a hero in a hurry, we shall follow your orders. The family, I have been asked by, by the Speaker of the Senate to read his eulogy. But uh, because what I would say will represent the Senate in that one minute, I just suffice it to say that I convey his very sincere condolences. He is uh, upheld in another meeting where he had been delegated by His Excellency the President in Bungoma. And uh, in uh, eulogizing my, my, my namesake and my friend, a man that I've shared moments, good and bad, tight and tough. I say that character is, is destiny. And that is only one of many lessons that you would have learned if you had joined the master class of my namesake, the late Paul Kwenangi. Among his many other lessons, because the life that my namesake lived, he lived with a freedom that I have learned to call the freedom of simplicity. Because in that freedom, Paul seemed to have, to have learned the great lessons of life, lessons which are taught not only historically, but even in the Bible, that the fights we fight, that the contestations that we engage in, that the clouding that we do around ourselves is all vanity. And, and as he lived that life, I must say I benefited a lot from the engagement that we had. And as I sat there, I was asking myself, so how will I remember my namesake, Paul? And I choose voluntarily to live and to remember Paul, not by the way he died, but by the way he lived. And because we engaged quite a lot in political engagements, ventures together, we ran campaigns, on the same party, as friends, as namesakes, as neighbors. I would only be asking those of us who are here to honor his, the last chapter of his life, that if there's any favor, any good that he would do to Paul, is to ensure that what he lived for, that the ideals he emulated when he was alive, that we will make sure that they come to fruition and they come to be by doing our part. We whispered so many things together. He said many things to me, and many of them, which are most memorable, was, for example, in the year 2017 when we ran our last campaign. And as they say, when things were thick, we had to plan, we had to strategize. But the one amazing thing that I will never forget that I learned from my namesake is that no matter how high or low or shaky the situation is, and I say to you that this is one lesson that I'll take with me. When I spoke to him in our strategy, you would not know whether you said something right or wrong or moving or moving because Paul was unshaken. And that is why when I describe his 
freedom, freedom of simplicity. It is a simplicity that is also endowed with courage. Because finally, we prevailed. Only thing I would want to ask as I sit down to the family, because we've listened to your tributes, we've listened to the many things that you've said, and we are glad, and personally I'm glad because I've heard you say here, publicly, that you will honor him by being more united than you are before. Those gems and diamonds of history that you have said and read to us here, take it upon yourself and make it your goal. And how I wish, as I sit down, that you would put them in a history that you would write in a book that will memoir and remember the work of Paul, alongside the work that this family has done. Because there is no one like me, born in Kiambu in Kenya, who does not have an idea, and some, sometimes even a mystic idea, as to the role that the Koinange family has played in the leadership of this country and in the shaping of the destiny of what we are and who we are today. I believe it would be a great honor if one day those that will come after us can go and pick a book like this with the memoirs, with the memories, with that history. And that way, we will have honored the work that not only the late Paul Koenenge, the member of parliament, did, but also the role that has been played by this family and the families that have been read here by all of you in having played a role. So I say, may God rest his soul in eternal peace and accord and afford him a place on his right hand where good people rest. Because after all is said and done, and after all the things that we've said, it is enough to say that Paul was a good man. May God rest his soul in eternal peace. I want to take this opportunity to invite the majority leader of the National Assembly, Honorable Kimunya, to come and say and pay his tribute. Uh, family, uh, members of clergy, uh, all protocols observed. Uh, I know we have uh, broken all the rules on time, so I'll try to make amends uh, by not uh, taking my time. I just want to also recognize the presence here. I think P.S. Zainab uh, Yusuf is here from Correctional Services. Uh, they worked very closely with the uh, 